The macOS App Switcher can only be activated with the keyboard shortcut Command Tab. Doing this brings up an overlay that displays the icons of all the apps currently running on your Mac. To keep this on the screen, I need to continue to hold down the Command key. The apps are arranged with the currently active app on the far left, and then the previously active app to the right, and so on. The previously active app is the one that gets highlighted, so it's really easy to quickly switch between two apps. If I continue to hold down the Command key, each press of the Tab key will cycle through these open apps one at a time. If I stop on Safari here and release the Command and Tab keys, the Safari window comes to the front of my display, making it the active app. We're also able to select an app here with the mouse or trackpad cursor. Use the left and right arrow keys to move back and forth through the open apps. With one of the app icons highlighted, press the up arrow to invoke Exposé, which will display all the open windows for that app. We can then use the arrow keys or the cursor to select and view any of the windows, whether they're open or minimized in the dock, like this Finder window. Highlight an app and press the H key to hide the app. Do the same and press the Q key to quickly quit the highlighted app. It's instantly removed from the App Switcher display. We can even open files using the App Switcher. If I jump to the Finder and select this Building Plans PDF, as I start dragging it, I'll hit Command Tab and then drag the file onto the Preview app icon. Release and the file launches in preview. So, utilizing the App Switcher with Command Tab can be another way to increase the speed of your workflow and become more efficient with your Mac.